everybody on the crew has worked with Alexander at film after film. So <clears throat> you walk into it and it's a family. I mean, it really is. They all know each other. They certainly know him well. Some of them I worked with and about Schmidt. So that makes a tremendous difference. You, you just felt you were enveloped by warmth and, and it was easy. It made it easier. On the heels of that comment, I wanted to ask you about how you managed to find this fine balance that you struck between sort of like the grumbly, cranky side of everybody and the warmth and family of everybody. And I wanted to hear from the actors and as well as you, Alexander, about how you found that balance in the directing. And Can you start with your act, please? please? Uh, I, I think also we all liked each other. And I think that helped a lot. And we liked Alexander, and that helped a lot. <laughs> it was just a warm, warm set. Well, um, I began a while ago with Mr. Kazan. I came into the business because I was astounded that I was lucky enough to work for him and Mr. Strasburg. When I got this script, I said, this is what I got in the business to do. And I haven't been able to do it very often in 55 years. And the challenge to me was to do what was in the script. Not fudge, not throw any Guernseys in there or anything that, you know, uh, made the fifth by a cowboy from the right interesting. Just like he said at the very beginning to me the first day, he said, this is Mr. Papa Michael. He's your cinematographer. Of course, I'm Alexander, your director. I wonder if you might do something for us on this film that I'm not sure you've done for a whole film before. And I said, what's that? He said, let us do our jobs. And, uh, <laughs> 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 Don't show us anything, let us find it. And that's the magic of what he does. And has it been done before? Yes. But when you look at the shot of Angela McEwen at the end coming out of that store and his courage to hang in there with that shot until it says what it should say, and the eight guys watching the football game in the room, let the pictures work. You know, Haskell Wexler saw the movie, and when he said that, he said it's like watching a moving scrapbook of Ansel Adams' photographs. Well, that's why we're here.